Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me this evening as I talk about what is going on up in the sky right now. And um, there's some, you know, exciting things as always happening up in the sky. We have a lot of things going retrograde right now and we have some things going direct. So I thought I'd come on before the sun goes down and give you guys a little update and what's going on, some things to look at. Also, I want to remind you guys, for those of you who are wanting to take astrology to the next level, I have um, recently launched a subscription page, only $9.99 a month, and you get four new teaching videos on how to read charts. I go into the depth for those of you who want to learn astrology as a fluent language, okay? Also, I still have some specials on my readings, natal chart reports, all of those good things. And those are all ways that help support my channel. So anything that you guys would like to check out, go to cowgirlastrologer.com. That would be awesome. All right. So the moon has just moved into Capricorn. It's been a heavy week, huh? With the moon in Scorpio. Last couple of days, moon in Sagittarius. Seemed to get a little lighter. Now we've got the moon in Cap. And this is the next two days is really about kind of going back over things and looking at our foundation right now. Mercury is retrograde. Venus has just gone direct in Pisces for a very short period. And then it'll move back into Aries. I love when Venus is in Pisces. This is a very special time in the midst of all this craziness right now to... Take the time and really manifest and connect with who you are and the vision that you've been already given. I think sometimes we think that our visions are something, our dreams are something way out there that, you know, that we don't, we don't have a right to have or that we'll never attain. But those things have been planted in us from birth. And it does take a lifetime, <laughs> planting seeds, taking care of the garden, growing, pulling weeds, new cycles, new seasons, new energy, you know, and I think we forget that life really does take time. And some of the lessons that we've been learning for many of us, all of us, some of these cycles that we've been in, we've been in for a while, for a couple of years, some of these major changes. We have to follow a couple of things and that are very critical in the astrology right now. One is the North Node. The North Node is at the final stage of an 18-month cycle in Virgo. It is actually at like um, one degree so it's getting ready to move into Leo, the eclipse pattern. The north node goes backwards. So this is a very important time for you to look at your chart. If you've never looked at your chart, you can go on my website. I have a free chart calculator, or you can go on Cafe Astrology, or look up Natal Chart, Astro Theme. All of those are really great places to start or to go back and look and, and, and look and say, where do you have Leo energy in your chart? Um, and what houses, you know, if you are in Aries, you're going to fill this in your fifth house of entertainment, of creativity, of family, of children, of romance the next 18 months. Okay. So as you can see, if you're a Taurus, you're going to fill this in your fourth house of home. This is where you might bring a lot of attention to this area. This may be a time that you're moving and you want to bring a whole new energy into a whole new area of your life. All right. So for Gemini, this is going to be in your third house of how you communicate. Gemini, you might start becoming a lot more bold, a lot more bold and a lot more clear and a lot more needing to communicate and not fall behind the scenes. To get that going because Gemini and the Sun energy, Leo energy, work really well together. Um, so as you can see, go and look at your chart and ask yourself, where do I have this? If you need some help, I can help you. 
Um, you can email me at crystallin68 at gmail.com. I'll put the link below. Or you can book a reading with me if you want me to go into more detail. Because when these changes happen, it really, it's like it ignites and all the underneath stuff going on. The North Node in Virgo was really about dissecting and picking apart and organizing the last 18 months, kind of compartmentalizing, putting things in boxes, cleaning things out, reevaluating relationships, friendships. The Virgo Pisces energy, which is the North Node in Virgo, Pisces would be the South Node, was really all about toxic issues, friendships, physical, health-wise, in our homes, in our lives, um, you know, everywhere. Um, I bet some of you even had some water issues, <laughs> you know what I mean? The propane tank or, you know, the plumbing this last 18 months because this is about the universe surging and detoxifying and purifying. Taking something out, the universe doesn't always just want to remove. Its goal is, is to, is to um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, reconcile, reconcile. But we have choices, and if we don't learn the lessons that we needed to learn and we don't make the changes, we can't reconcile. We can't go to the next level in those situations. It takes everybody to be on board and everybody to sit down and have really honest conversations and honest, um, you know, game plan, okay? When we have the energy that we've had um, with all of these retrogrades, especially Jupiter in Libra retrograde. It's been, it's been really looking at relationships behind the scenes and really questioning those areas in our life that, you know, we're suddenly feeling different about. Maybe something you were able to handle before, but now you want to grow and, and it's just not going to work. And it's been about getting in touch with our intuition. Um, the South Node in Pisces is all about a, 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 an honesty in our intuition. This is how we feel. Now, how you feel isn't always um, the ultimate decision making because, because how we feel can change, can't it? Sometimes when we're going through some really tough times, we might feel a lot of fear or we might visualize things the way the worst case scenarios. Sometimes we have to do that, you know, just to, especially uh, those Pisces out there, this South Node in Pisces is kind of all about going, all right, well, what am I really afraid of? Like, what's the worst thing that could really happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? And, and all right, that's the worst thing can happen. Then what do I need to do in my life to prepare myself for that possibility, to be prepared, to be not so much ready as if you're wanting it to happen or suspicious it's going to happen, but at the same time, what's the worst fear? Getting caught off guard, getting caught vulnerably, getting caught financially off track. We've all been there, right? And you and I, each one of us, have to decide going into this next phase, what are our values? You know, for me, it's, it's, uh, I think I've got a little guy coming over. For me, it's been really interesting because um, I'm going through a stage where, you know, I went back to school for my writing. I love to write. I loved, I have so many things going on up here. I have pieces of it all over the place, chapters here, chapters there, um, and I got I got allowed myself to get really distracted into so many other scenarios that are playing out, and I really had to do some soul searching and ask myself, are those are those situations my business? Are those situations things that I have to be involved in? 
what is my responsibilities? What are the things I value? What are the things I want to invest in my time, my thoughts, what I'm thinking about? Allowing myself and realizing that to do the work that I do, which is it requires in-depth, quiet study. You know, astrology, the, the studies that I do and the writing that I do require me to create a space in my in my reality that allows me to be creative. And I've been trying to do all this work and all these projects kind of running on empty, kind of running on, you know, after everything else is done, at the end of the day, then I'll do these things that are important to me. Um, but I'm starting to kind of look at this value and say, well, you know what, these things that are important to me could really benefit me in these ways and benefit my family in these ways. and and if I don't take it seriously, I'm never going to get there. And going through these retrogrades are really helping me review and really find out what is important. You know, sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, sitting too long <clears throat> in social media and getting caught up in things that are kind of meaningless. Um, and they take your time. With the moon in Capricorn right now, it's all about our time to evaluate the next two weeks. That time is of the essence. Time is precious. Um, our thoughts are precious. How we take care of ourselves is precious. These are things I think that at the tail end of North Node in Virgo, if it could give us any message at all, that would be it. What did you learn the last 18 months about taking care of yourself physically and mentally and emotionally? We're not done, but a lot of seeds have been planted. We've, we've learned a lot the last 18 months. How are we going to take this into this new energy, this new fire energy? Because people are going to be coming out, right? Leo is all about coming out, about branding yourself, about saying, here I am, about having that confidence. Um, you know, we lose that confidence often just from setback after setback after setback or maybe we've tried this or we've tried that and you know I think we're all evaluating with all the knowledge that we have right now what directions are we going in now's the time the next few weeks while we're going through this mercury retrograde lay low silence is power quietness in your mind and taking the time to really Give yourself what you need so that you can accomplish the things you want to accomplish to realize that it's important. You know, if you were going to be an athlete, um, you might cross train. You know, athletes often get up at five in the morning and they run for, you know, an hour. Then they come home and they eat and they, you know, and then they go to their, to their, um, you know, their sport even after that. So, you know, it's cross training. It's, it's, it's asking yourself, okay, this is the dream I have, this is what I've put into it, yeah, I've put a lot into it, but what am I missing? What am I missing right now? And what am I allowing to take my eye off the ball, right? What are you allowing to take your eye off the ball? You know, this is the time to review priorities. <laughs> and Einstein, my donkey, seems to agree. So you guys, just wanted to give you a little heads up. Mars is still in Taurus. Um, another couple weeks and it's going to move into Gemini. Okay, so again, here we go now. The next couple weeks, do this behind the scene work. Take those notes. Take those walks. Look within. Take some time for yourself and really, really plan out this plan of success for yourself. Give yourself permission to create a world that works for you. You know, I think sometimes we overcomplicate it. It can be simple. Sometimes we don't like simple. Simple might be boring. <laughs> I know I like to always have this grandiose idea and plan that I'm looking towards. And I'm learning to kind of get more content with simple. A little more content with just laying low, laying back. Um, Mars and Taurus is and is all about, you know, getting that area secure, like I've been talking about, that sanctuary that you have. When it moves into Gemini now, the community, 
Start wanting to get out and about in your community. Connect with other people, other tribes. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of energy starting to stir. It's been very quiet, kind of heavy for a while. We made it through all the Pisces energy, and now spring and, and summer are coming. And um, this is a chance for us to really, you know, get in the game. But the next few weeks strategize 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 okay give yourself permission to strategize give yourself permission to take some time alone and rebalance reshuffle reshuffle the deck <laughs> up in the head you know um we've been going through a lot of obsessive energy so for a lot of people it's been staying up in the head and not getting a lot of stuff done carrying a lot of heavy burdens um emotional burdens um and really looking at what way are we going to go. And, you know, plus the fact that we're, you know, trying to figure out our reality within this new world reality. You know, it can be paralyzing. So I think we have to stay really focused on what can we do, not the things we can't do. There might be things we can't do, but what can we do? Start making those decisions. If you feel blocked and you feel like you're just stopped, I challenge you tonight to look around you and say, okay, I can't do this, but what can I do? All right? What can I do to move around this block? How can I get ready for when the block opens? How can I get myself in a good place so when the starting gate opens, I'm ready to shoot out of it? All of these cycles prepare. Each cycle prepares one for the next, for the next, for the next. And even the retrogrades take us back, reevaluate, restructure, reconsider, reconnect. You know, they're hard... They're hard times because we make them hard. We make retrogrades hard because we none of us want to slow down. We've got this mentality of conditioning that we need to stay going, 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 going all the time. So, you know, when we do slow down or we're not thinking clear enough or we're feeling really drained, um, we think something's wrong with us. Well, you know, you've got to understand we're moving with this energy. And if we've gotten ourselves so exhausted, then that tells us that during the other cycles, we're not balancing out. So if you find yourself just sick and exhausted and, you know, feeling like crap, like we all have, even myself, I went through all the sinus stuff and my whole family being sick um, during the Pisces energy. We have a lot of Pisces in my household, so we all get it. Um, you know, I really, I really realize that the areas that I'm not considering that are important because they might not be important to someone else and and I think that's the thing you know so often we want other people's approval you know why are you doing that why are you doing this what are you doing right and then we think we have to constantly be on this state of of accomplishment and achievements but accomplishment and achievements are moments in time that happen because of the behind the scene work Okay, so we get moments, we get, we get time, we get highlighted moments, but they come from the hard work in the background. And, you know, a lot of us, you know, it's like if we're not having these highlighted moments, something's wrong. Oh, the universe is so much bigger than that. And that's what I'm learning, that even in those quiet times, that there's powerful things happening. And allow yourself, you know, I've been really allowing myself to, you know, give myself permission. What do I want my life to look like? Um, can I accomplish that? You know, what would it take to accomplish that? What would I have to do to accomplish that? Do I want it that bad to do that work for it? Right? What is it? You know, do you want independence? Do you not want to not have to live at your mom and dad's house anymore? <laughs> do you want to have a car? Do you, you know, it doesn't matter. Do you want to be able to have a job? Do you want to be able to have, you know, know where you're going every day or do you like the feeling of your own creation you know or you need a push to 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 get that idea out there um you know 
just comes down to at the end of the day, believe in it. Believe in it. Believe that the world needs it. And with the North Node moving into Leo, this is an opportunity to create the package, to create the brand and say, look what I got. <laughs> Here I come. So, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you will check out my website. I hope you'll come over to my subscription page. I'm really excited about. And uh, like I said, or if you just need an update, a reading, a lot of my regulars are coming back right now. Thank you for that, you guys. If you need that, um, I'm here. And I would love to be of help. And onward we go. All right, you guys. Have a great night.